Hello. Um, I need to pick up a U-Haul, please. That is a big sound bitch. The biggest U-Haul that they have. And I still don't think our life's gonna fit in it. What is up, MFers? I'm so excited to bring you today's video. It's one that we've been hinting at and been excited for for a very, very long time. If you couldn't tell from the title, description, thumbnail, the giant U-Haul truck behind me and all the boxes surrounding me, we are picking up and moving our lives a very long way from home. Home is uh, Omaha, Nebraska for us. I've lived in and around Omaha and so has Becky our entire lives, we've never moved anywhere else. And so we are very, very excited and we are very, very terrified <laughs> at the same time. If you've kept up with the channel over the years, you know I love to travel, Becky loves to travel. We like to go and try new things, explore new things. And I think that was one of the main reasons we didn't just wanna sit and live in, in one area our entire life. Um, one of the major reasons that is. Um, the other being that um, we love where we're going to be going. We've visited many, many times, and it makes a whole lot more sense for my line of work, apparently, too. You know, ripping slaunches. Obviously, since we've never lived anywhere else, um, we're very excited because we found what we think is our dream home. It's an unbelievable property. Um, hopefully, uh, this video is going to culminate at that property um, if we can ever get all this stuff loaded up and get down there. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys what we have in store and where we are going. We actually had a house picked out about uh, June. Last June, we put an offer in on it. Um, loved the property and everything, but I think we offered more than asking price, but the market's crazy right now. Someone came in like 70 grand over asking price and they scooped that house up. So we've been keep, we've been looking, we've been looking, we've been talking about moving um, to this place for a couple of years and you'll again find out at the end of the video what I'm talking about, but we had to wait for the right place to come available and the perfect place, better than we ever could expect it, came available on the market and about two and a half, three months ago, I think early January, mid January maybe, we scooped that song bitch up. It's been a long process, a lot, of, a lot of nerves, a lot of excitement, a lot of tears have been shed. Um, about this move and so this is a very crazy emotional time and we have a whole lot of work to do I better get inside and start helping thank you some more we actually we hired some movers luckily we, we've been we moved when we were younger in apartments and houses and stuff and we're like we're never doing that again we've lived here for seven years so my entire Millican fishing career has been at this house we are in right now it's crazy that we are finally going to be moving um, but because we've been living here for like seven years you guys know how that goes you uh, accumulate a lot of shit especially in my line of work where, I mean, this is all fishing tackle right here and probably more than half of these boxers is fishing tackle, let alone what I threw in the Triton and in my truck. Enough me rambling though, we got this son bitch packed up. This is exciting guys. I'm so excited to take you on this journey. It's gonna be a really fun video. It's gonna be a really fun day. And uh, like I said, stay tuned to the end to see where we ended up. Or maybe I will roll this thing on the interstate and all of our stuff will get destroyed. Maybe that'll happen too. Mom, do you have any breakfast? I found these while I was cleaning. Okay. All right, so we're making a video about moving. I'm gonna just stand over you while you pack every single box and we'll just talk about what we're putting in each of them, okay? The this is one thing that I'm actually gonna show you guys. These are bottle caps, which we accumulated over the years. Well, mostly Becky did. I didn't drink any of those beers. What are you reading here, Chief? A book. <laughs> Thanks. You excited to get down there? Yes. Up there? Side there? I didn't tell people where it's at yet, so we can't say down there. We gotta say, you excited to get up to Canada? <laughs> Ice fishing season year round. <laughs> Poor Ozzy's room. Poor Max's room. 70 hours later. <laughs> Ozzy, you tired? You ready for a nap and for a long car ride? Maybe you sleep for 15 hours straight? She says, yes, I'm ready. Until dinner. Until it's time to eat, and then I will scream. Looks a little different in here. It took so long to get all of our shit out. You guys should see the U-Haul. It's literally, we have movers unpacking us when we get there, and we are so glad we're not them because that's gonna open. That might not even open, let's be honest, and it's gonna go. Oh, 
Let's do it. Woo. I like this manual door lock. Badass. We are about three and a half hours into our trek. Becky and Ozzy and Emmy, the fishing crew. There goes my keys. Are in Becky's car, and I am solo in the 26-foot U-Haul. So far, so good. Becky said Ozzy just woke up, and little man's probably hungry. Milk. Think people look at me weird for walking around with a gallon of milk. Here, Oz, take it. It's all you. Dinner. What do you think? Actually, it doesn't look terrible. Ozzy, what'd you do last night? Did you have your first birthday party? And you got to smash your cake and make a giant blue mess of your fish cake? Pretty fun, huh? Did this all work? <laughs> How you feeling? We're a lot. I'm so We're exhausted. Make... The goal is to hopefully make it five. Four more minutes? Yeah, four, four more minutes tonight. Maybe make it six hours into our trip. About a 13 to 14 hour trip. And then drive the rest tomorrow. Um, not sure when we're gonna get up in the morning, but we're gonna get a hotel tonight. It's gotta be pet friendly, of course, with Emmy, which is fun sometimes traveling. But our movers to unpack the truck are coming at 5 p.m. tomorrow, so we got a little bit of a cushion as long as, fingers crossed, we don't destroy the U-Haul or I don't get run off the road by a semi-driver. Freaking crazy everywhere. Oh, sad Ozzy. Smells like weed in here, Becky. You hold that on me? Emmy, stay. Emmy. Oh, here we are. Our dream home. <laughs> Downsized to 300 square feet. Don't walk to that. Come on, bro. No! Yep. Come here. Oh, boo. Every other packet clay ever. What do you know? Yeah. That's Ozzy's bed. Is that your bed? It's a little mini person bed. What do you think, Oz? I like it. Is this home for the night? We made it uh, six, seven hours. And sleeping. His schedule's all screwed up. There he goes. There he goes. Look at him, guys. Oh! I forgot to ask you guys if you like the new haircut. I showed it off at a Instagram, Facebook post. One with some lines, one with a little shave on the side, but letting the back grow out. I just want to say, I think there's a massive misconception. I think in just not the fishing industry, but just in people in general of what a mullet is. And I didn't realize this misconception, but I think people have this assumption that if your hair is long, you have a mullet. Completely could not be further from the truth. Before, my hair was, was getting long. Didn't have a mullet before. Not to be confused. I am obviously, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It looks pretty stupid. But we're going to try to grow the back out. And we're going to keep this, this top and the side shorter. Walking the dogs. Leaving our... Uh... Wallet sitting in the front seat. If any guys are ever out and about and you see Miss Melican Fishing's car, please break into it. <laughs> do me a favor. Let go of him. Come here, Oz. Come here. Here he comes. Mr. Steal Your Heart. Oh, okay. face plant. We good? All good? So need a I'm second. Yeah, I need a second. Ooh. You need some grass? All right, we're better. It hurt me more than it hurt me. Can you see us? See us on the screen. Welcome to the day that we get to see the house of our dreams, Rebecca. It's happening. Oh, hopefully. yeah, hopefully, hopefully we make it there. We still have seven hours to drive. Feeling pretty shitty, honestly. I feel like all we've done the last month is pack, especially the last week. It's been so much, so much work getting everything put together. Becky slept like shit last night. We stayed up too late, freaking driving. But 
once we get there, we're excited. We're kind of dreading the unpacking process because I don't know if you guys saw the shot of the truck before we closed the door. It got to the point where we were just piling stuff at the very end. It's all gonna come out once we arrive. Should we get in our car seat though? Start going? Let's do it. Let's do it. Punch a punch the screen. Punch the screen on us. See. See see you there. I'm I'm bashful now all of a sudden. See you there, bye. <laughs> Are you hungry for some barbecue? Hmm? You think Texans think this is like fast food barbecue? Yeah. I got a feeling you probably do because it is a chain restaurant, but I like Rudy's, okay? It's not the best of all time, but it's pretty freaking good. Ozzy's never yeah, had it. You have it home. Yeah, much better. Home? What do you mean? Home. Where we used to live. Best. Okay. Ozzy, what flavor beer you want? Get it? Even wait. No hesitation. Getting after it? COVID Rudy's is a little different. I want to pump the machine. I don't like these limited servings. Potato. That's the potato? Let's see it, Becky. You got the loaded potato with brisket. Dear oh goodness. <laughs> Care what anybody says, Rudy's has always been delicious every time. Mm, I don't even know what my favorite was. Maybe the ribs? Brisket? I, I don't know. So good. All right, next stop, the dream house. Cannot wait for this. Three more hours of driving, and we're gonna be there. Finally. It's been a long couple days. Becky, we did it! We made it, we did the job. We're finally here. Look how happy Goldilocks is. Oh, it's a happy Goldilocks at our new home. Hey. This is better than the front seat of mom's car. <laughs> Ozzy's naked because he peed through all his clothes. I look too far. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. This is just, this is the front yard. We'll, we'll give a full tour here. Next video, not this one. You guys wanna know where we are at? We are in Texas, just north of Houston. Contrary to popular belief, we did not actually decide to move to Texas simply because I came down here a month ago and caught a bunch of giant bass. Now we, we've been setting this in motion and we've wanted to move here for what would you say? Three or four years? At least. At least three or four years. We've wanted to move somewhere else besides where we live. Um, for a long time before that, but then we kind of got settled in on, on Texas in this area specifically of Texas because the Sixth Sense office is here. We came down and visited. We love the area. And of course, as my relationship has grown with Sixth Sense, Waterland and everything else we have coming in the future, um, this was an obvious choice. We're a couple hours or less from the ocean for saltwater fishing. We are within three or four hours of the best bass fishing maybe in the country. We're not anywhere near the lake where we went and caught the giant fish at last time, but that had a lot more to do with the way that those fish were being presented baits than it did that lake being very good. Let me touch on that real quick. There is a lot of misconception about the fishing in Texas right now and the lake we went to, which I've never mentioned the name a single time in any of my videos, you guys might notice that, but that being some magic destination lake when in reality it was just those fish had never been targeted the way that they got targeted and then once the texas parks and wildlife share lunker program and the guy at the marina shared where we caught joe's giant fish and then all the rest of the fish following that then we had hundreds of anglers come and then once my videos came out and showed how i was catching them exactly now we've seen a handful to 10 share lunkers caught and now there's been articles written about how this is the hottest year in bass fishing in texas history that more or less could be because we kind of showed a way to catch some fish out of lake and expose the lake that had not put out that many share lunkers in the past but what i'm trying to say is there's going to be some hot bass fishing because of baits being presented in a different manner at texas lakes for the foreseeable future and i am very very excited for that movers just rolled in right there it's time to get this beast unloaded and then um i think we we'll are have to wait till the next video to show you guys what makes this what we feel is a perfect property in our dream property in our dream home i'm excited <laughs> 